Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Gaming and welcome back to our channel. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to easily configure your Mango HUD. So let's get started. So Mango HUD is one of the best heads up or FPS displayer for Linux gaming. You can see over here, it shows your GPU, the temperature, CPU and other stuff, but you can actually add to this and add more stuff or take out stuff that is not on this dis default display. So going down, if you go to manually doing this, you can actually find their config file, which is mangohud.config. And there are a ton of stuff that you can show like swap space or read input IOs and FPS limits. There's just a ton of stuff, but it's actually very confusing to put this into the config file. You can, again, manually do it, but there is an easier way by using this software called G Overlay. So first, if you haven't done so already, you can install Mango HUD, but I would highly recommend doing it through their releases and not through the app command because it will not work if you use apt. So I'm just gonna head over to their releases, download the latest version, which is 0.68, and I'm gonna download this one. And then I'm gonna manually install it. I'm gonna open the file over here, right click. Uh, let me change this view, right click, open terminal, and in here, I am actually gonna run the command tar, basically extracting it, X Z X V F, and it's mango HUD. So I could go into that folder now, and in here there's a mango HUD setup. So I'm gonna do mango HUD setup install, and it's gonna ask me for super user password, and that is it, that is installed. So now if I go in mango HUD, it should have that program. Before that, this would not come up, nothing would work, but there you go, you have Mango HUD. Next up, we need to do is sudo apt install g overlay. And that's the software that will actually allow you to easily configure all the settings you want. Now it's not 100%, it will configure almost 80%. What I mean by that, it doesn't have every single setting that they display on the repository over here, but it has everything that you need. So I'm gonna show you that in a sec. Okay, now that I showed you guys how to install it on my desktop, I'm actually gonna demonstrate it on my laptop because there's one feature that I wanna show you guys if you guys are using like a Steam Deck or something. So over here, I'm gonna go run over to G Overlay and give me a second. Let me just move it over to this screen. So this is G Overlay um, 0.71. It is not the latest version on my laptop, but it's okay, it still works. And what I have going on over here is a custom setting. Um, what you can do is head over to visuals. You could change the font size. I kind of like it small on the top right corner. It doesn't mess with most games. Uh, you could go over to metrics. You could also change whatever you want. Now, one of the things that I did add on this, which helps a lot is the battery. So you could see, you can actually check off every single thing you want. Um, aside from having to go into the configs manually, it's all here. So if I wanted to disable temperature, uh, which I have over here, the temperature on the top right, uh, I could just uncheck that. And if I wanted to add more features like CPU frequency or core frequency from my GPU, I can actually add those things. So let me add those two. And do I wanna add anything else over here? No, let's just keep it like that. Once you hit save, it's gonna reload and actually give you the new specs that you added in. So you can see on the top right, um, if you don't like the size of this, which I'm com very comfortable using a small size because I just need it for a reference to know what my battery is at, uh, you can always change it to a different font size over here or customize font size. So say I have 24 font size, look how big this gets. And this will actually show up real, real size like on the top right of your games. So obviously this Windows is small, but it is gonna show up this size. Now, if I wanted to change or add metrics, you could change it all, all over here or special programs that you want to display like Spotify or custom commands. You can all do everything through this menu. Uh, what's cool about um, G Overlay is that it also has this VK or Vulcan Basalt or something like that. Now, if you wanted to play around with something, say if I do, I run something here, it's, it's gonna run this property over here, which is my Vulcan or I think the VK cube and don't worry about that, it's gonna keep running. Now, what I wanna do or what I can do is if I wanted to something like add a different attribute to make it look different, like ASCII, I could save this 
And then when I run this command, now any game that I play will be an ASCII font like this. It's really cool. So if you are interested in like changing up how different things look or how different things run, you can literally just check it off here and apply it to your settings for your next game. So what you can do is enable it globally. Generally, that's another thing that you could do with G overlay. But I mainly use it just for this property where I could set all the attributes that I want. This way I could just easily get the desired look that I want. Anyway, that is it for me, guys. I know it's a short video. It's just how to customize um, your mango HUD. If you have any questions about this, leave it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And I say my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.